Hello and welcome to Computer Lab Hijinks, a show about games, old software, and web ephemera. I'm Nathan. And I'm Will. Look at us. Back at the computer lab. Back at the well. Look at us. <laughs> Look how we made it. I'm, I'm butchering that Paul Rudd quote already. Look it's such a simple one, too. So people say, maybe people don't say, I observe that some of our episodes run a little on the longer side. Mm. You know, sometimes I remember our Budokai video was like a solid 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. was, uh, and that was a good, that was a quality episode. Well, today, William, I'm going to want you to pull out the stopwatch on your iPhone because we're going to attempt. Ooh. I won't say the number because I won't get it right. But I'm going to think of a, a number in my head that I want this this review to be the okay. length of. Okay. And this will be a, a very quick review. What, first of all, before we start, what do okay. you know about the Famicom game Banana? Nothing. Okay. Not to be confused <laughs> with Banana Prince. Ooh. This is just Banana. Banana. Okay. Wow. So here we go. We're going to aim to have a quick review. We'll Ooh. see what happens. All right. Here all right. we go. I'm here we go. at zero now. I'm waiting for the cue. Okay. And go. All right. Banana is a fairly obscure Famicom game released in 1986 by Victor Musical Industries, who you might know from distributing some anime, <gasps> uh, apparently Evangelion on a few runs. Mm. So they are a musical company, and then they made this game. It's a puzzle game where the mole, whose name is Mole, has to collect all the fruits and vegetables before returning to his wife Kiko, who holds the key to the level's exit door. All right, you following this deep lore so oh, far? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, this next part might sound useless, but I promise it's important. Players can only dig downward with ladders to help you climb up to the exact square that the ladder ends and no higher. So it's not like other 2D games where you go on top of the ladder. Mm. This takes you exactly to that row. And then later in the game, there's some items. There's bomb, ladder, rope, and rock. And then there's also an egg that hatches a mole child for some reason. <laughs> so... <laughs> Essentially, this is like a puzzle maze game, very similar to Boulder Dash, which mm -hmm. we'll get into in a moment. So it's easy to get stuck or caved in. So you have to plan your route through the levels accordingly, kind of strategize it beforehand. And once you pick up Kiko, she follows right behind you, effectively meaning that you can take up two squares on the grid. And so you can go and grab items without getting caved in. Mm -hmm. A lot of strategy involved this is a fun game. Every stage after 10 is what I call brain hurtingly hard. Wow. That's the, that the technical, that's the game studies term. Ah. Uh, it hurts my brain after level 10. And there's 105 levels. So goodness. This is a hard game. Wow. I, I'm willing to say. And it's a very obscure game, but my brain was the bad brain when I played this. Wow. <laughs> that time. <laughs> uh, has a fully featured level editor. So this is 1986 Famicom game. Fully featured map editor, which is the first one I ever saw in a game, although it's around the time of things like Excite Bike. Load Runner from 83 is often credited as the first game with a mm. map editor, but this one it's elaborate enough you can make any kind of level that would be in the game. You just walk around placing squares. It's a good time, I think. And you Ooh. can save them to cassette tapes. So, cassette. yeah, roll up to your friend's house with your cassette full of banana levels. Ooh. And then it is adapted from the previous game. Are you ready for this title? Mm. Mole Mole, a mm. 1985 MSX game that was similar but less pleasing on the eyes. Enjoying some Mole Mole, a classic game. All of these games, of course, are likely copied from Boulder Dash, a 1984 puzzle maze game by First Star Software. You've heard of Boulder Dash, I'm assuming? Maybe, maybe. I I'm canceling the show. I'm upset. <laughs> um, Boulder Dash EX was my first GBA game. Mm. Can't believe you haven't played Boulder Dash. <laughs> Let us know in the comments how upset it's a, you are. It's a bunch of Boulder Dash. It is a bunch of Boulder Dash. <laughs> your, your soul right now laid bare for all to see. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm upset, but I'll continue the review because I'm a professional. Boulder Dash, made by Canadian developers. Ooh. The main difference is that the falling boulders in Boulder Dash, it's like from a cursory glance, it's like the same game. Boulder Dash, the falling boulders will kill you. And you can also walk upward, which is kind of weird because there's gravity, but then you can just walk up. Anyway, hmm. don't worry about too much. It's just a video game. In Banana, the falling boulders will fall on you, but they don't kill you. Hmm. So that's a more relaxed game in that sense. Hmm. Yeah, and when you lose, the character just looks really bummed out. Like the, the mole and his wife just look sad when you <laughs> when you give up. It's kind of weird to look at. Goodness. There's a fan mod. I'm, I'm literally going to say all the information publicly available about this game. There's a Ooh. fan mod that changes all the graphics to Adventures of Lolo sprites. Ah. Actually kind of a nice look. But Banana As Is, a nice looking game. I think kind of cute looking sprite work. I'm surprised a game this obscure has mods at all. I first played this game on a CD that my brother burned of NES games in Nesticle, if you ever use that. Mm, no. <sighs> classic emulator there's mm -hmm. like a severed hand that chooses the game incredible <laughs> interesting it's actively bleeding as you play anyway so there's just a big list of games and they're all games released in north america except for a game that just said banana.nes and it was this game which if there was only one famicom exclusive on that list i don't know why it was banana which no <laughs> one's heard of 
<laughs> so that was weird. Indeed. Not Mario Lost Levels. Nope, just Banana. So it's the only Japanese game on the disc, which makes me wonder why such an obscure game was mm. included at all. And all the footage in this video was captured in Nesticle. Uh, and it was a fun throwback. And... My final closing thoughts. A fun game, great soundtrack. There's like layers to the music because it's made by, of course, Victor Musical Instruments. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, Victor Musical Industries. Wow, that's that's embarrassing. Anyway. <laughs> we <laughs> well, have to do it all over again. We are not restarting. We are marching forward. Victor Musical Industries and the footstep sound effects are actually part of the music. And so it, mm. I'll play a clip, but it kind of goes up and down and it, it adds to the, the score, if you will. Mm. Really great. Absolutely incredible soundtrack. And it's very obscure. And that's my review. What are we at? Time. That is 5 minutes, 21 seconds, 91 milliseconds. All right. I do appreciate the milliseconds. My goal was four minutes, and this was not far off. Mm -hmm. I was looking over there. I saw 21. <laughs> that was 21 minutes. Got through all my notes. So that's our quick review of Banana. How, how quickly did that feel? Do you feel like we're breaking into new ground in terms of quick videos? We're breaking into new ground by breaking into old ground. Old ground. This is thenewgrounds.com. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I keep wanting to review old Flash games, but they're like horribly offensive. Oh, yeah. Them, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not every game was stick RPG, you know? Not every game was, I don't know, it was a fun game. Super, on Super Smash Flash. That's a good game. That's that a, was a good game. That's a good time. <laughs> All right. Well, the ending of this video will be that I tried to end this video on a joke. But, you know, I think the spirit, the jovial spirit of this review, the brevity of this review is in itself a cool ending. This is going to be the Sopranos of endings. You know? <laughs> yes. Oh, let's do that. <laughs> Beautiful. While we're mid-conversation. Actually, I like that idea. Let's do a Sopranos ending. Well, thank you for watching Computer Lab Hijinks. I'm Nathan. And I'm Will. Telling you to keep your files safe, keep your passwords. <laughs> That's as good as that. That's as good as that thing as any. Beautiful. All right, and let's cut it there. <laughs>